What's up guys? In this tutorial we'll study about iteration statements or the loops. So what why do you need an iteration statement? Uh, suppose uh, I I want to print on the screen numbers from 1 to 100. One way of doing is uh, is th is that uh, have 100 printf statements so and then execute of execute your code. But if you do in this way your lines of code will increase. So one way of uh, uh, printing numbers from 1 to 100 would be using iteration statement or the loops. Okay, the first iteration statement is uh, for loop. Okay, so what's the basic syntax for for loop? It's for initialization as in initialization of variables then the second part is condition as in when should the for loop stop that is defined by the condition then a semicolon and the third one is increment or decrement variable and then followed by a statement whatever the statement you want to execute I as I told you I want to run a loop or I want to print numbers from 1 to 100 so I'll have something like this for i is equal to 1 i is equal to 1 is an initialization of i i less than equal to 100 this is the condition the loop would run from i is equal to 1 to i is equal to i less than equal to 100 and then i plus plus then I have the statement printf percentage d and i this is how the for loop would work the first time how would the, uh, the first time it would come here it would uh, have a value of i is equal to 1 then it would print 1 then it would increment the value of 1 and then it would become 2 then it would print 2 till 100 uh, then the value of i is incremented after 100 as in it's, it will become 101 so it will check here uh, if is 101 less than or equal to 100 the statement would evaluate as false false so it would not execute uh, suppose you need to exit suppose you have multiple statements to execute inside a loop so you will have something like this I'll copy this part as this is the same and then in between the curly braces you will have something like the statement 1 statement 2 uh, multiple statements you can have n number of statements okay so yeah the loops loop runs till this condition becomes false as in in this case if i is greater than 100 as in it would become 101 uh, at that point it would return false and so the loop would stop running let's try this in our code okay we'll write a basic program to print even numbers from suppose 1 to 20 firstly I'll write my basic uh, syntax hash include std in main return 0 okay yeah so now you know that you want to run the loop from 1 to 20 so I'll put something like this for i is equal to 1 i less than equal to 20 as in you want to run from i is equal to 1 to i is equal to 20 and i plus plus okay uh, so now you have to check that the, if the number is even or odd so how would you check that you would uh, use a modulus operator if you if you mod by 2 and you get a remainder of 0 then it's even so I'll put an if statement here if 
i modulus mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 as in is i mod 2 equal to 0 then I'll write here print f percentage d I'll put a backslash in for new line comma i modulus operator gives you the remainder so if the remainder is 0 on division by 2 uh, that means the number is even so let's save our file I'll give it a name for loop Okay, let's execute a file. Compile and run. Uh, uh it's giving me an error. Okay, yeah. I read the error here. I is undeclared. So I must write here int i. As in, we need to define i first. Now let's again run a file. Compile and run. Yeah, we are getting it as. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, yeah. We are getting all the even numbers from uh, from 1 to 20. Okay, another way of working out this problem is uh, we can remove this if statement entirely. We know that even numbers start uh, between 1 to 20, we start with 2. As in, one, we know that 1 is an odd number. So our first even number would be uh, 2. So we can write here i is equal to 2 i less than equal 20 and instead of incrementing by 1 we can increment by 2 so we will write i plus equal to 2 uh, i plus equal to is a compound assignment okay and directly we can print print f percentage d a backslash n comma i so this must produce the same result uh, let's run our file okay yeah, we are getting the even numbers so yeah it's not a compulsion to increment or decrement by one you can increment by two any number you can increment by any number also also yeah one more thing you can have a for loop with multiple variables as in uh, something like this i for i is equal to one comma j is equal to suppose four i is less than 10 or j is greater than 2 i plus plus comma j plus plus so here we have used two variables i and j so you can have n number of variables any number of variables inside a for loop it's not a compulsion to have a for loop with a single variable So yeah, that's it on this tutorial. See you in the next one. Please do subscribe to our channel, like our video and do provide your suggestions for our improvement. Thank you.